Good morning, it's me again. <clears throat> so it's 7.22 in the morning. I'm slide out. But it doesn't look like it from in here. But let's get some light. Oof. This is that solar light I had during the live that went out. I've charged it up. This thing's really handy. <sighs> so I'm having a hard time getting up. I think maybe because it's a little bit colder out. So I've been pretty warm every night. This blanket down down duvet is super warm. Um, I recommend those. I know a lot of people like the zero degree sleeping bags, so I might get one of those as well at some point. But I'm gonna I'm gonna use this down comforter until you know if it gets too cold, then I'll cross that bridge but it's actually 37 degrees outside um i don't know what the low was overnight or whatever but um that may be another reason i don't feel like getting up <laughs> however it doesn't feel like it's 37 in here all right um i do think that one reason i'm not super cold is because while well, i talked about my down blanket and then my window covers have fleece on the other side so i really recommend that um, and then this is flannel on the other side. It's got black flannel. So I think, um, and then the last thing which I'm going to get going that I'd use to help warm it up is my little burner. And that warms it up pretty quickly in here. But I am going to, um, get some water going. But yeah, it's kind of chilly. Um, it was a chillier night. Coffee. Coffee creamer. I don't know where my spoon is, so I'm wondering. Yeah, this will work. I mean, I know where my, sp I have to wash my spoons. I'm a little limited on silverware right now, or bamboo-ware. <laughs> I really just want to see if I can pour it in there. That works. I found these rose-colored jars. They're kind of pretty. They're the glass jars, but they're like a rose-colored. Got those in Washington over the summer at the grocery store. They're pretty. And they have four of them. Anyway, putting the coffee back. Mostly, I'm wanting to turn the burner on for the heat. All right, coffee is going, plus the heat. So, on today's agenda, it's getting hot in here and coffee's on. On today's agenda, I'm gonna make some cranberry sauce. It'll probably take a couple hours, and so I think I'm planning just to like relax and crochet this afternoon. Um, and I might door dash a little bit this morning. That's what today is, cranberry sauce. So I'm not gonna eat the cranberry sauce either. I'm gonna put it in a jar and I'm gonna save it for Thanksgiving, which is like a few weeks away. Um, to have something to offer wherever I end up or I'm at, um, I'll offer some homemade cranberry sauce. Um, so yeah, that's on today's agenda. It's amazing how warm that little burner gets, gets it in here. Um, so yeah, it's close to freezing outside and I am, I'm comfortable between the burner and maybe just like <laughs> working up a sweat for making my bed, which I did. I started to get a little more organized. Um, that's ready to go. But yeah, I don't even have like socks or shoes or anything. Okay, I um, I took down the window cover that I have on there, just the paper one. And here's the view out the window. It's a little foggy, um, but you can see. It's nice. It's just woods.
Cheers. Not too much coffee creamer today, but the coffee's stronger. I've still got my disco ball up. I'm gonna leave it up for a while, but it just, um, I wanna say thank you to everybody that was able to attend the live and all the people that weren't that still commented um, and said congratulations. Uh, yeah, that was fun. That was a fun live. Um, and I think that it'd be fun to do that game again. I think I will use like a dry erase board, <laughs> something that's a little easier, but you guys were like just rolled with it and everything and it was fun. And um, so if you didn't make the live, we'll do more like that. If you'd like, you know, games and stuff. And I'll put out some polls about you know, a future live and what you guys, if you'd like to do that again and all that. And I'll probably leave this disco ball up for a little while because it's fun. Well, I think there might be snow. Like, there's a little bit of snow. How cool is that? I don't know if it'll stick or not, but yeah, that's how cold it is outside. I almost want to go for a walk. Maybe I'll go for a walk. I'm so warm and cozy in here. I mean, I was li literally just saying to myself how warm and cozy. I've got my little socks on for my feet. I've got my coffee and it's snowing outside. The candle helps too. Not a lot of snow, but there's a little. And I've started working on my my hat. I'm kind of going out of order today. So I guess I'm just kind of going with the flow today and you guys are coming along. But this is the black walnut yarn that I did um, in one of my videos. I think it says a safe landing on it, the front. It talks about um, the black walnut dye. And I actually, I, I dyed this on that video. What a beautiful morning. Absolutely beautiful. Someone commented, they were like, that, um, you know, who says I can't be fancy living in the car? That's how I feel. Who says you can't be cozy living in your car? Or fancy, or whatever, you know? Create, create your dreams. Make them happen. We don't always have, you know, everything we want, or, but there, there's a lot. I think sometimes we can limit ourselves because we think it, of what we don't have versus what we do. And... I encourage myself and all of you, look at the things that you do have right now that you can work with and build slowly day by day towards your, your goals and your dreams. Um, you know, it was, what, the beginning of the summer I was in my Corolla, which was amazing. I mean, okay, maybe amazing is pushing it, but I made it work. But look at me now, you know, I don't have the savings that I was hoping to have in the bank, but it's okay. I have this co cozy car home and... Thank you to all of you guys. I have a channel that's growing and I don't know. I'm just, um, I'm feeling grateful <laughs> in case I haven't, I haven't said that today. Also, if you're watching this for the first time and you'd like to subscribe, I love hearing about new people coming to the channel and your stories. And, um, so if this is a first video you've seen, welcome to the channel and I'd love for you to join. Um, be part of this. I am living in my Honda Pilot and going with the flow, uh, working seasonal jobs and using DoorDash as a way to make ends meet and pay my bills. And my biggest bills right now are car payments <laughs> or car stuff. But hopefully once that kind of gets down, then I'd like to be saving as much as possible. And um, get some land in a tiny home. So, yeah, come along for the journey. All right, I'm back. It's about, I don't know, two hours later. I went to the grocery store. I look exactly the same, I think. I don't know, maybe I put a sweater on. Maybe I did that before. I don't remember, but 
I'm in the same spot. I went to the grocery store and I got some cranberries because for the cranberry sauce and I got an orange. I'm gonna make some cranberry sauce. And I also went to the dollar store to get an extra jar to put um, the cranberry sauce in. And these are nice because they have the canning type. So I'm not gonna officially can it, but I am gonna vacuum seal it when I put this on. Um, so that'll help preserve it. And while I was there, I saw some gluten-free stuffing. So I think I'm gonna make, I'm making right now, I'll show them in a minute, some sausage. I'm gonna add the sausage to the gluten-free stuffing. And then I have some mashed potatoes and um, just like the instant kind. And then I found this gluten-free turkey gravy. So I'm gonna make a little feast to have with the cranberry sauce. Um, sausage, stuffing, mashed potatoes, gravy, and cranberry sauce. And I found date sugar to use for the cranberry sauce. So this is kind of cool. I don't think I'll put it all in there and then I'll save the rest just as I don't I don't love like actual like sugar. I like um, maple syrup, honey, date sugar. So that was a nice find. Here's the sausage. I just put some olive oil in the pan and then I added um, a little bit of water to steam them. Um, as they're browning just to really make sure they're cooked well. I'm gonna eat two and save the other two for the stuffing. Oh, and I saw this at the dollar store. This is kind of cool, it's a candle holder. So I went ahead and got that as part of my decor. Moving into like the November, December decor, but um, I have to do dishes too. So that's on the agenda, but first I'm gonna eat because I'm getting really hungry. And it's not snowing anymore. It's just kind of like precipitating and you can hear it on the roof. Here's an honest depiction of car life, my car life a lot of the time. There's a pile of stuff that needs to be put away. Well, that's used for the project that I'm about to do. I got some food cooking over there, so it smells good. Oh, some paper towels that over there on my water cooler that have to be cleaned up. Got the candle going, got my lantern, got a stack of dirty dishes, but you know, all in all, it's pretty cozy. When I'm not door dashing and I'm not working at the farm and I'm not running around doing errands, this is kind of what life looks like. It's not bad at all. Let me get the view outside, especially on a rainy day. I have my little light charging over there, hopefully. You can see the rain and the sausage. All right, time for cranberry sauce. Um, I cleaned up, I did some of the dishes and this is just a 12 ounce package. So I'm gonna rinse them off first. I remember growing up, this used to be my, my thing to make on Thanksgiving. I was in charge of the cranberry sauce. <laughs> so this is kind of fun. I like this one's a little funny. You can tell because they're soft to touch. And this one just doesn't look ripe. So any that are like super soft to touch. I don't have my glasses on so I can't actually see them that well, but like I can feel them. So and then See that one? That one might be okay just because it's probably got good flavor because it's so dark and soft. Alright, so now that I've kind of gone through them, I'm going to rinse them. use my coffee pot, my tea kettle to hold the rinse water because I actually need to rinse it out from the coffee this morning still, so. I 
All right, so I have my berries. They are rinsed. I'm gonna get this started on the stove. Um, I'm gonna bring it to a boil and then simmer it. And they'll start popping after a while. That's the fun part. Okay, so that's, um, they're boiling, so I'm turning it down a little bit. And it's smelling good. See, they're beginning to pop. That's good too. So I'm gonna add a little orange peel. And I have an orange, and I'm gonna peel the orange and I'm gonna use some of the orange. I'm gonna squeeze some of the orange into it, but mostly I'm just gonna eat it. I really just wanna eat the orange. <laughs> I'm excited about this orange. I think I'm just gonna add, add a big chunk of orange, or like two. I'm just kinda of winging it. So I usually put about a cup of sugar for a package of cranberries. I don't know how this date sugar is gonna work. Um, I think it should be just fine. I think, I think when I've made, you know, there's something, there's a process that happens with where it like kind of congeals and I think it's the pectin. I'm not sure if they have, if cranberries have pectin or not, but I'm gonna try this sugar and hopefully it'll work. I think, I'm hoping it will. I'm hoping it's whatever's in the cranberries, not what's in the sugar that makes it kind of like jelly. But here's the sauce so far. I'm simmering it a little higher than I would normally because I think I added a little too much water, but I'm not stressing it. And it smells so good in the car. I'm just gonna eyeball. probably good okay so I tasted a little bit and I think I'm gonna add um, some more of the date sugar because I don't think it's as sweet as regular sugar and um, it's really tart hopefully I'm not messing it up by using this kind of sugar but oh well <laughs> it's a learning experience I also want to point out that this just ran out and um so these last me about I think when I replaced it I was making the pumpkin pie I believe that was about two weeks ago so that's about how long a can last me all right the canister is replaced back in action here we go I'm also going to add some cinnamon. It's one of these in here somewhere. I think that's turmeric and cumin and There it is. I rinsed out this jar and I have to pour it in while it's really hot. Um, that's what's going to create the vacuum seal. Oops, just a little water in there. I'll just throw that in there. But yeah, so it's the, um, it's the heat, the hot cranberry stuff going in here that's going to create the vacuum seal. Um, so I think it's pretty good. Honestly, I mean, the flavor is really good. The texture is a little weird with the date stuff. Um, and I don't know if it's gonna congeal when it cools down, like the way cranberry sauce and jelly and stuff normally do. Um, but it's good to know that there's, it's date, date sugar in here. Um, Cause that's a lot gentler, I think, on like the blood sugar levels and everything. Um, so. You know, it is what it is. I guess I could keep cooking it and try and boil off more of that water, but I think 
I think I'm gonna call this done. I think it'll thicken a little bit as it cools. I think. Maybe. I'm not sure. I don't really know. <laughs> but I'm gonna pour it in my jar. Well, this is super messy. I'm trying to get a vacuum seal, so I want like it to be pretty tidy around the edge and then I can clean it up after I put the lid on. And it's hot, which is good because it'll help with the vacuum seal, but One thing I know I made is a mess. Okay, so I, I screwed that on tightly and as it cools, it'll, um, it'll create a vacuum. So this is, it's not like canned where it could be forever, but it's, um, you know, I'm gonna clean it up a little bit, but it's, um, it's kind of canned. So I'm just gonna, that's very hot. That's the jar. So I'm gonna put this aside for later and I'm gonna make the stuffing, the sausage stuffing and the mashed potatoes, just instant, but um, I got some good gravy for them, so yeah. Yum. First, I gotta wash this out. So I put a little bit of water in there. I'm gonna heat it up. And with that little bit of water, I can, you know, wipe down the edges with a paper towel. I'm gonna make these. Um, I got these a while back. I was craving mashed potatoes and gravy, but I never made them. So I'm gonna make them now. I happen to have some green onions left over from a stir fry I made yesterday. So I think I'm gonna slice up one of these to put in the mashed potatoes. I also have some butter left over and I'm going to use half for the potatoes and half for the stuffing to fry up the sausage in. Back to the sausage that I cooked earlier. It's a smoked chicken apple sausage. It was really good. Get this going. Put the rest of the butter in there. I added some water because apparently I just pour the stuffing in. I don't usually make instant stuffing or instant mashed potatoes, but um, I was hard to resist gluten-free this thing, so. We'll see how that turns out. I didn't even think to get some like celery and onions. Maybe I'll add a little more green onion. But it looks like it's just seasoned bread. So yeah, good thing I got the sausage. Okay, so I tried a piece, it's good. The seasonings are good. Um, with this sausage and I think I'm going to put a green onion why not let's throw green onion in this too I have to use those up so I added the green onion just to get a little onion flavor in there um, I'm going to let that cook down a little bit So this is chicken apple, smoked chicken apple sausage with really just seasoned breadcrumbs. They're gluten free though, and then green onion. <laughs> and then I've got my mashed potatoes that are still hot and turkey gravy and green sauce. I got the food together. 
There's the cranberry sauce, the mashed potatoes and gravy, the chicken smoked sausage, apple chicken and stuffing. And um, yeah, let's try this. Okay. Kind of like a pre-Thanksgiving meal, I guess. Yeah, I'll get some of everything if you'd like, if you're interested. It's a big piece of green onion right there. Hope you don't mind that. Mmm. Not what I was expecting. I got cranberry sauce and sausage. I was expecting mashed potatoes and gravy. That was, that's good. I've been looking forward to having a lazy day where I don't leave the car. <laughs> because a lot of days I'm doing errands or I door dash or I'm working at the farm, all of which I love. However, the only time I left the car today was I go to the grocery store and the dollar store. I do those few errands and I came right back to this same spot. And it's been raining. Well, it even snowed a little bit. Um, oh, that stuffing's good. Mm, stuffing is really good. Um, I might go for a walk later. I think it stopped raining. And I'll probably take it easy this evening. Tomorrow I go back to work at the farm for a couple days. But all in all, I feel very fortunate with my life right now. Living in a vehicle is not always easy. You know, there's, it feels like things that usually take like, when you have an apartment or a house, like things that take like one step. When you're living in a vehicle, sometimes they take like five steps. <laughs> but I'm grateful because I can still do the things that I want to do. I can still cook the foods that I want to cook. I mean, look, this is good. I can still, you know, relax, have a lazy day. I've had car repairs. Don't get me wrong. I've had car repairs. All in all, for how much I was paying every month in rent versus now it's not a bad trade-off and I'm gonna go for a little walk I'm gonna finish this go for a little walk and I'll film some of that so you guys can see and that might be it I was gonna like I had all these other ideas for a video it's just a lazy day of cooking but thank you for being part of this channel um I feel like this channel is all of yours as much as it is mine I'm just trying to create a forum where we can learn from each other and help encourage each other <coughs> uh oh some water because you know sometimes it feels it helps to know there's other people out there going through similar things sim similar struggles difficulties or even like joys in life to share those moments and the successes and you know just um so thanks for being part of this channel i'm getting really full Ha <laughs>
I'm not sure if I'm going to take a walk or go for a nap. Maybe I have time for both. We'll see. I'm going to finish eating. All right, we're going for a little walk now. I had some water with lemon in it because, man, I'm full after that food. But um, <sighs> that's my main meal of the day. And it's early enough that by the time I go to bed, it'll be digested. And um, But I need a little, little walk. <laughs> Walk some of that food off.